gentlemen. Thank you very much. Um, so my name is Oscar. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I am a one-man team, and I work on an app called Neo Watcher. Uh, so I have a little presentation and a little demo. Um, so this challenge is part of the Solar System Near Earth Objects Machine Learning um, Challenge. This application um, is to study and visualize near Earth objects. So why, right? We need more people to watch the skies because there's this dangerous stuff over there hurling everywhere, and we need people that is you know aware of that so we can predict future impacts and maybe prevent our extinction, right? So we need more people to learn about astrodynamics and astrometrics. Uh, which I've kind of ignored, but they are really important, right? So uh, that's why I created this app. Now, why are the NEOs important? We don't like to end up like the dinosaurs, allegedly. Um, and why are astrodynamics so cool? Well, Mark Watney from The Martian was saved by this nerdy guy that was the astrodynamics guy, because he came up with the trajectory, you know, to get to him in less time and all of that. So astrodynamics are cool, right? Um, so, what is it? It's an Android app that I created. Um, I am pulling in data from NASA JPL. Um, it's data that they have been collecting by watching the skies, using diverse sources, telescopes, radio telescopes, etc., uh, etc. Et and I created a backend uh, with IBM Lumix um, uh, using a Tomcat server. And also, I connected it to predictive analytics because uh, my intention is that as we collect more and more files, because the files are updated daily, we can create like a history of the of the uh, positions of the objects in the in the solar system, and then with predictive analytics we can uh, predict uh, future orbits, right? Uh, so how it works? Uh, the backend fetches JSON information from NASA. Um, it's uh, dumped into the the backend uh, in the IBM Lumix which will you know, uh, process the, the files to create uh, projected orbits. And there's an app that uh, helps you visualize um, how the things are uh, going around the sun uh, and if they're close to the Earth. So um, I'm going to do a little demo uh, right now. Um, let me just fire up my wireless receiver. And I'm going to connect my phone to this. Oh, here it is. Okay. Sorry for the delay. So uh, this is uh, my Android phone that I am uh, showing right here. And right now I'm going to fire up the app. The app um, has a little, really nice splash screen, you know, with our Space Apps uh, logo. And then uh, it connects to the IBM Lumix um, backend to pull in the data about the um, near-Earth objects. Uh, and you see, no, look, man, no cables. Um, so uh, here I'm going to click in one of the objects. Uh, I provide the name and the, also the arc uh, years, which is basically since when this object has been observed uh, by NASA. Um, so I'm going to click in on Icarus. Um, hmm. My connection is not so good, but uh, this is data being pulled from a, a, an IBM Bluemix Tomcat server. This is the data about the um, object. This is, a, this is a potentially hazardous asteroid called Icarus or Icarus, and I show you there like relevant information. And then you have a really nice uh, 3D visualization of the object. So this is a simplified 3D model of the solar system with just the sun, the earth, and the moon. And if you see that little dot that is circling around the, the sun over there, that is our potential hazardous asteroid. So all of the data, again, comes from uh, NASA JPL, and um, it can be found on uh, their website. Um, so, thank you very much. Thank you very much, that was awesome. You've also, uh, you also know when you've hit time when like a very intimidating five foot that comes out for you. Um, oh, yes. questions. So, uh, if you, you got some? Yeah, um, hi, uh, what kind of analytics are you applying to the so I don't. I didn't have enough time to collect enough data because the file that I get, the JSON file from NASA JPA, uh, is generated daily, right? So I only have data from yesterday and, and today. But the intention is to use SPSS um, to compile a model that I can give to predictive analytics, and that way predictive analytics uh, will project, you know, future orbits. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing has to dump more data during more time. So I can build up that history and I can analyze the data. But yeah, I hooked up uh, Tomcat with, uh, um, you know, um, 
analytics and um, and it was pretty easy to integrate and to pull the service, uh, the analytics service from Tomcat. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions?